Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs and the Binding of Isaac. Got an absurd run today, courtesy of YouTube user LOL Joker, which I choose to believe is Heath Ledger's ghost commenting from the grave. Don't judge me! In any case, the way we're gonna do this run, it's a play on the Before I Explode runs that I've been doing. So, you know, we did those with Odd Mushroom, which made our head get large to the point where I thought my brain was gonna explode. We did it with, um, Magic Mushroom, which made us, uh, we were playing as Blue Baby, and we just got larger and did more damage at the end of every room. Uh, this time we're doing Before I Implode, so every time we move into a room, we are gonna get Mini Mush. Now you might be thinking, we've got way too many advantages here. We are dealing with Mom's Knife, we are dealing with, uh, Raw Liver, which I gave myself to give myself some more HP. The reason for this, though, the reason we need Mom's Knife is because, eventually, we're gonna turn upside down and inside out, and that's gonna make it impossible for us to shoot, so we kind of need Mom's Knife here to be able to do damage. It might seem at the start of this run like this is way too much of an advantage, but it's absolutely essential if we're gonna do this run. Believe me, I practiced off camera. Uh, it it be, just became impossible. The tears would not shoot after a while. So we have to be a little bit weird about things here. But in any case, our main goal is just gonna be able to complete the game. Oh, come on. It's just gonna be able to complete the game here. That was an awful telepills. It's gonna cause us to get even, well, I guess larger in the opposite direction. Uh, and you can see our knife is getting all weirdly disassociated from our body here. I have no idea how this run is gonna work out in the whole scheme of things. It's actually kind of giving me motion sickness just to look at it here, but we're gonna see how far we can go. Uh, like I said... Oh, I also have the compass and the map, by the way. The reason I gave myself the compass and the map is because I, in doing this run briefly off camera, I'm fairly confident that without the compass and the map, we would have literally zero chance, because your hitbox gets so weird, your, your kind of projectile gets so weird because it fires differently than you might expect and it kind of looks like we're walking inside out on the ceiling or something so I'm thinking these upgrades are gonna be the only thing that I could give myself that could really give myself a better chance at success over the course of this run. Did you see that? That hitbox there is crazy. I ended up getting hit somehow despite not uh, like being in range of that attack so I'm trying to pick this up don't worry I think I mainly have to focus on where the shadow is because the shadow is going to be where Isaac technically is, and I'm not going to the deal with the devil, because every room that we go to represents, you know, potentially making this run a hundred times harder on ourselves. So, so far it's been easy. By the way, we have unbelievable speed, which is frightening for us. It's almost like I, I'm playing this run as if I'm invisible, and I'm just focusing on the shadow and on the ground. The, the size of Isaac does not matter. It's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean. But let's be honest, if I was gonna be on the ocean and I thought there was a risk of, you know, some kind of capsizing, I would probably want to be on a bigger boat. Especially if we encounter Jaws. Um, not Jaws the shark, I meant Jaws from James Bond. Uh, this is tricky, I can't really tell what we're doing here, but I'm still alive and hopefully we'll continue to get some more HP upgrades because I'm starting to realize that five is probably not enough. But in any case, we are going to be heading down to Catacomb. Oh, Jesus. This could be awesome or horrible. And if it's awesome, I'm hoping that we get a... Guppy's Paw or the ability to fly here. Either of those could give me a better chance of victory. Not a great chance of victory because I, I do think this is harder than the Before I Explode run. We'll see, though. In any case, like... Yes, things are just going to get trickier and trickier. I am just going to take the Pact. I think that's a solid item. Gives us the two Spirit Hearts as well. Also, the damage upgrade is important for fighting these bosses. We shouldn't really be suffering too much from a damage perspective. I'm starting to realize this is going to be a very fast run. Uh, but this run shouldn't be difficult from a damage perspective. The reason it's going to be difficult is from a dodging perspective. Because, good lord, uh, we are going to find ourselves in a tough position very soon. With respect to the fact that I can barely see... I mean, our shadow continues to grow. I'm not sure if that means our hitbox continues to grow. Uh, but it does make me kind of like harder and harder to perceive where I am. And that's going to make dodging even more difficult. This should be called like Lionel Richie style dancing on the ceiling run. I'm not even going to fuck with that neutral fly. Why bother? Uh, just hang out down here. Still have not... Oh, there's damage. Again, it's so weird because... It's, it's almost difficult to conceptualize, because the way you take damage doesn't feel right. You're like taking damage, but you're like, I'm not anywhere near them, and then you realize, oh, I'm just, like, my physical body doesn't exist on this run. Instead, I am merely a shadow, projected upside down like some kind of, it's being filtered through a terrible prism of despair. I don't know, man. Go through the door! He, I thought for a second there I was totally stuck and could not go through the door, which would obviously be bad 
uh, and would probably end this run. But again, Isaac, sometimes items and Isaac have weird interactions. I'm not sure if this run is ever going to work. It's very tempting for me to go to that deal with the angel. Let's do it. It's going to cost us too many mushes. We get the relic, though, which is potentially worth it from a health perspective. Uh, and we'll see as we continue going. As you can see, without the compass and the map, we would probably be, you know, two to three times larger than we are right now. Assuming that it scales, you know, just by giving you like an extra percentage size or an extra size up every single room. We ended up encountering a weird glitch here. This is probably the pink glitch, so everyone just hang out for a second and we'll be done. My guess is that this is going to be like a 12 minute run, for better or worse. Sometimes I like these Fast and Furious Isaac runs though. Come on, Isaac! Come on, Isaac! I can't think of anything that rhymes with Isaac. You're making me sick. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past Dexy's Midnight Runners to sue me for that right there. So I'm probably going to shut up now. Five seconds constitutes fair use still. Uh, we're going to try to make our way to the boss. This is a double boss room. Like, double floors are a godsend in this situation. Provided we can actually survive to get to the bosses. The mom fight might be more difficult than I'm expecting. Because... Again, we're not going to be able to see what the F is going on ever, basically. And I'm finding it very hard to gauge where my hitbox is based on the fact that the shadow is constantly growing in size. Uh, but again, we're just going to keep making our way. The bad thing about this run, or about this floor, I should say, is that it's pure industrial grade linoleum. No, it's that... Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, it's a long trip to the boss, but, you know, as ACDC said... It's a long way to the top if you want to get dirty deeds done dirt cheap, so we're going to take this spirit art here. And we are going to get to the boss, and we've kind of survived longer than I initially anticipated. But I'm taking a lot of damage. This is definitely worth using a bomb to get this heart, and I barely placed that bomb properly. How do we get inside of that tiny hole? The Northern Lion story. Um, regretted that immediately, as I said. We have the stars card. I might be able to use that on a later floor to try to teleport me closer to the boss, because stars is item room, if I remember correctly, and I almost always don't. There's some nasty damage. Again, I'm just hoping I don't take damage, you know? There have been times when I've been able to actively dodge. This is not one of those times. This, the rest of this run is not going to be one of those times. I have basically no idea where shots are coming in. I'm just doing my damnedest to, you know, survive. I had no idea that would hit me. I guess technically I'm standing right next to War, and I had no idea. Uh, so he's doing a lot of damage to me, but we're going to get a second cube of meat. Is that a game changer? Probably not. Please give me some spirit hearts, because I really do not want to die uh, on the mom boss oh, fight. There's a bomb back here, but I think I need a bomb to get it. God damn it. All right, well, we're going to fight mom. It's going to be a very difficult run for me to succeed at, I think. But, I mean, I'm going to do crazy damage to her. Polaroid is not going to help me out at all. How did I get hit there? That's the problem. I don't know what I'm getting hit by anymore. I cannot tell. I think I'm going to implode. Oh my god, we succeeded. I can't believe it. Okay, reroll Cat of Nine Tails. Squeezy. That is a huge item to get right now. Things are only going to get trickier as I continue moving onwards. I really expected to die there. I was like 95% sure that was going to be the end. But in any case, we've survived long enough to go down to the womb. And I am going to... Or utero, sadly. I'm going to use the stars card. It did take us a little bit closer. Laugh all you want. It might have been a meager increase in our chances for success, but it was an increase nonetheless. And I'm starting to get used... Again, I'm just, just playing this as if... My avatar here doesn't exist. I'm just playing as if I am invisible and I'm trying to make my way to the end. I will use keys because God knows an HP upgrade would be essential right now. Well, half of a red heart might actually be worth the two keys we sort of wasted there. Pretty soon we're going to be too large to even appear on the screen. And that's where things are going to get real fucking otherworldly with respect to this Isaac run. Please. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, just play it cool for a second. That could be a balls of steel pill. Or a full health pill. Health down? It's actually not that bad right now because we didn't have full health anyway, so functionally, nothing has changed, but still, I'm concerned about our chances. Please give me another cube of meat. 
That is not Cuba meat. That is a Loki. Lo double Loki. I'm used to saying Loci, I think. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to talk up my math skills. I'm just saying. I don't think we took damage here, believe it or not. Which is kind of unbelievable. Given the situation I find myself in, I think it's possible I might be getting acclimated to this unbelievably stupid run. And I mean stupid in the best way possible, LOL Joker. Don't worry. I do enjoy this run, as I enjoy all runs of absurdity like this. We are going to get an HP upgrade thanks to that reroll. Have something good for me, Angel? Miter. Okay, we're going to be getting a ton of spirit hearts. Which is good. Oh, Lord. I am become Death Destroyer of Worlds. If I beat Mom's Heart, I will consider this run uh, a fairly monumental success. That is still very much up in the air like an Anna Kendrick film. See, I'm mixing it up. I'm trying my best anyway. Uh, okay, so we're gonna continue moving onwards here. Things are getting tricky. You know what? Again, on all these runs, the end goal is always Satan. Because the chance of me beating two floors, the cathedral and the chest, is basically zero. It's so low that it might as well be zero, which is why we're gonna be focusing on... Uh, simply beating Shoal instead. So again, that's our end game here. Our final goal, if we can beat Shoal, that would be incredible. We managed to do it on the Before I Explode run part one. Failed miserably at, at Before I Explode part two, I think. I can't remember exactly. You know, I do a lot of Isaac runs, cut me some slack here. Uh, I'm hoping this starts a chain reaction, but I'm also hoping that I manage to get out of the way in time, which I seem to do. I say seem to because, you know, I don't have any better of an idea of what's going on than you guys do. When I take damage, just like, okay, I, I trust that the game's not butt-fucking me here and just making me take damage for no reason. There's gotta be some condition that is causing this to happen. Where are you? Come on, pop up. Pop up. Pop up like a video on VH1. Um, we got a spirit heart out of that, so we didn't lose anything for going to this room. And at this point, I kind of feel like the ball's in my court. Because previously, I was getting pissed off about how big I was getting. I was like, oh, I can't see anything. Now that I can't see anything, it's like, sure, make me as big as you fucking want. There's nothing you can, like, you can't hurt me any more than you've already hurt me. Uh, so we're definitely going to focus on taking out these lasers. And then I think we only have two bombs, which is bad. But, that was awful. But by clever mom's knife usage, we should be able to do a lot of damage here. It might not be the fastest mom's knife fight, but it doesn't need to be the fastest mom or mom's heart fight. It just needs to be good. The less damage we take, the better, obviously, as with everything in both the Binding of Isaac and, you know, life in general. And this is going well so far. I can't really see what's going on with respect to these zombies, but that's okay. We managed to kill them. Mom's heart is about half dead. I really have to stay on the other side. Believe it or not, that does make a difference in my visibility. Which is weird, but uh, again, I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to focus on overcoming it. <laughs> overcoming the Northern Lion story. I don't even know where I'm going with this. That was like a sweet like W Network narration. Overcoming the Northern Lion story tonight on the O Network. That was insufferable. I apologize. Uh, I walked on some creep there by accident. We're going to try to go down to Shoal instead of the Cathedral. Okay, we succeeded. It was closer than you might have expected. You know what? I think we might have a chance here, believe it or not. Oh no, it's Pestilence. Well, this guy should not pose too much of a threat. Sadly, he's also not going to give me a cube of meat. But, he is going to open the way to that secret room, which will speed up my progress towards getting to the boss, I think. Oh, I just stepped on some more creep. We got a Joker, what do you got for me? Spirit of the Night? Sign me up! Wait, that actually cost me hearts. That was silly. I thought it would be free for some reason. Uh... I have no idea what the fuck is going on right now. But we're just gonna keep going onwards. We are playing as this, uh, you know, black wave right here. Isaac's gotten real fucking ethereal lately. Uh, or otherworldly, as I said before. One hit will kill us! So we should always keep that in mind. I think that's gonna be the end. Wow, before I implode, that was kind of a colossal disaster, but a lot of fun nonetheless. Thank you to LOL Joker for that run. I think we're done with mushroom themed runs for a while but uh they were fun while they lasted and maybe we'll go back to that before i explode run again i like that one a lot but in any case thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time